Hey everyone, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto and I just got back from swimming with my kids and I ran home and filmed this video. I got the new Luxio Tropico collection so I'm really excited to show it to you and in it you're gonna see these nails um, and they're super glittery and sparkly and in case you're wondering uh, what that is, that is just this NYX. It's like face and body glitter and it is GL107, so I hope you can see that. Um, I was at, when I was at the store, a couple of girls asked me what it was, and I was like, it's like NYX glitter eyeshadow. So I thought I would try it on my nails, and it looks stunning. So anyway, on with the video, I'm really excited to show you these colors. It definitely fills a few gaps in my collection, and I'm excited to start using them on my clients. All right. Starting off with Finesse, this is a really like creamy ivory color and it was really pigmented. I did do two coats on this. I do two coats on all of them. Some of them are like absolutely one coaters, but I did do just two coats on everything just so you could see. And I do some comparisons at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. I do compare them with the rest of the colors in my collection. And this is Daintiest. Now this is a really, really pretty pink. And this was a solid two-coater. Um, I will show second coats um, in just a little bit. But just to kind of show you, there is like a tiny little bit of shadowing. Uh, but that pretty much goes away with the second coat. No problem. As you can see, it's pretty much full coverage there. Just a teeny little bit of shadowing. And then this is Audacious, which is kind of like um, a nudie pink. Like, it, oh, it's hard to describe. It's almost like when I show you in comparisons, it kind of fits in like the pinky nudes a little bit. Um, but it's really pretty. It is a tiny bit sheer too. And then we have... Uh, precocious and this one is stunning with a little fine bits of gold shimmer to it now um, if you're a fan of Luxio like I am you know that they don't often put out um, different finishes uh, they mainly just do cream formulas and so it's really nice to see this one that has like a little bit of a like a shimmery finish to it um, and it is kind of like a pinky coral and then this is Dauntless uh, and it's like in that really nice yellow that's like kind of mustardy but like it's not even really coming across well on camera um I find yellows can be a little bit tricky but this is pretty close to what it looks like in real life but it's one of those yellows that's actually really nice to wear and then this is Vivacious. And this is another uh, shimmery one from the collection. This is a purple with a bit of a pink shimmer. Now, this one is really, really nice. The only kind of downside is it does look a little brush strokey, but I don't mind that too much. I know some people like really don't like the kind of brush strokes in their shimmer. And if you don't like that, you can always kind of dab it and give it a more textured look but it is very, very pretty. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and zip through the second coats. As you can see, everything is building up quite nicely to full opacity, and like I said, I always really like the Luxios. They perform really well, they always cure really nicely. You don't have to worry about doing super thin coats or anything like that with some, some other polishes. You really have to be careful with that kind of stuff and I've never had a problem with uh, my Luxio's curing properly. And oh, that's such a pretty color, I love it. Um, and like I was saying earlier, um, this collection does fill a few holes in my collection, which you will see shortly when I do my comparisons. I was so excited to get this collection in. I had been hounding the girls at Nove. When is it coming in? When is it coming in? So I'm really excited to have this. And I just thought I would tell you that I was super annoying to try and get this in and get this video up on in a decent time for you guys too. So this is the collection all together. Um, 
I really think it's really pretty. Like I know that there is um, some kind of like pastel colors and there's some bright colors, but I really think it's a really awesome spring summer collection. I think it flows really nicely and there's a lot of awesome colors in there. So this is going to be my first comparison. So we have Finesse and I'm just comparing it right now to Polar, which is Luxio's probably brightest white. It's almost like a blue white and then the gel play, uh, platinum white and just like pure and all those other whites that they have. I do have a lot of whites and even um, just like the gel play white um, is even a bit softer than some of those and Koi and yeah, I think Snowflake and Dreamy um, is from Luxio and really none of them are comparable. This is a really nice ivory. And then when I compare it to Ivory Kisses by Accents Options, Ivory Kisses actually looks almost a little pinky. And this is more like kind of like a creamy, um, creamy white. So this is the pinks and I'm just comparing it with a lot of my softer pinks. So as you can see, it's not really directly comparable. Um, I think the closest one was OPI Small But Cute from their Hello Kitty collection, but it's still it's still different than that as well. And then OPI Mod About You and the rest really don't compare, so I thought I would bring out my other kind of pinks and just compare them with that as well. The one that I thought might compare the most would be Bossy, but it is actually lighter and brighter than Bossy but it is kind of in that same tone, I guess. And then Vetro Smoke Terracotta, uh, not really comparable as well. And then we have the Dusty Rose from Options and Tea Time, and they're all different, so nothing directly comparable. And then I think that's Forever, yeah. And then Blush, so nothing in my kind of like nudie pink wheel as well. So then now comparing Audacious and this one, like I said, it's not really comparable, but it's probably one of the more closer ones. And then Smoke Terracotta again and Bossy. And then, yeah, none of these are really directly comparable at all and then probably the closest one would be um, stripper by vetro and still it is quite a bit different than that as well it kind of almost like fits in with like the rose golds and stuff it's really kind of more in that tone it's not super pink so it doesn't really fit in that very well. And then so Precocious, which is my coral pink, it really doesn't compare to anything directly. Um, <clears throat> we have the Are We There Yet from OPI. That was probably the closest. And I thought I would compare it to Cheeky. It's almost like Cheeky's tan shimmery cousin, I guess. But it, it uh, I thought I would compare it to with my corals, which you'll see. Um, that it's not really like an orangey coral. It's more of like on that pinky coral side. So it does really fit more in with my pinks. So just uh, to show you it against the corals, um, there's Pixie and uh, <clears throat> like the Bee's Knees and uh, Hypnotic Coral. All of those ones I find are more of like a coral and then Smolder and Scoundrel, those are all kind of like those orangey corals, and this is definitely more on the pink side, so it definitely fits in there. And then for Dauntless, um, Meta Boy Cute As Can Be from OPI is obviously a very pastel yellow, and then uh, Fusion's Yellow 104, uh, and Crazy Daisy. It's actually, like, a lot of these are close, but they're still so different like they have different finishes or they're more sheer this is more brighter and uh, so I just thought I would kind of show you the comparisons against them and it is a, a unique yellow in my collection and I think this one will actually get used quite a bit because it's not super mustardy and it's not super neon it's kind of that really nice in-between really wearable yellow for a lot of people 
And then for my purple, Vivacious, I thought it would be super comparable to like the Expose and <clears throat> a couple other ones that I have, like Do You Lilac It from OPI. An attraction, it does kind of, with the shimmer, fit attraction a bit better. Um, but just to show you, like, uh, Vigilant and Willow, which are from, like, newer collections, they don't compare at all. And, yeah, like, if you go through all my purples, like, it really is a unique purple, which is nice, because I feel like I have a few that are kind of just a shade or two off from each other, and it does have a unique finish than any of the other ones that I'm showing you here as well. So it is nice that they came out with, like, a, a shimmer finish. So if I was going to say it was close to anything, it would be the Attraction. And the only reason I say that is because when you see it with the pink flash of the shimmer, it kind of matches it a little bit. Anyway, thanks so much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you all later. Bye-bye.